Hi everybody, this is Tom of Good News. I just want Good News Church. I want to give you a little bit of a heads up and some notice and so forth and so on about some things that are going on, particularly with regards to the coronavirus, the government, um, the government, how do you say, protocols, um, and all of that above. Uh, just to say straight out, so that you know straight out, we will be closing all our Sunday services until further notice. More than likely until the end of the month, but depending on what happens with where it's happening and we just have to take it day by day with that so we're closing down all our sunday services and the reason being of course is because we cannot necessarily guarantee uh, lessening social interaction or keeping what's called social distancing you know with kids running around even though adults you know and people vulnerable and stuff we don't want to be the cause of it spreading further this uh coronavirus before it should spread as such a, before it's time to cause a, a greater outbreak of the coronavirus so we're going to obey the laws of the land this is not a lack of faith this is out of love and respect for the laws of the land this is not some kind of persecution thing you cannot meet because you're christians it's a totally different thing it's out of a health uh, reason now in saying that we're going to try and have our sunday service online now we won't necessarily have the worship we won't necessarily have those type of things but worship is of the heart we can have a time of trying to have time of thanksgiving we're going to try and see if we can do something the interaction might be a bit clumsy at first but we're going to try and do it and but really particularly we're going to gather around the word of god so there will be uh this week on sunday god willing god by god's grace if i can get it together you know there's a few technical things to try and get together uh trying to put all that together uh, but we will hopefully have a sunday service uh I'm not quite sure whether it will be 12 o'clock or half 12 or 11 o'clock. I will get that out. I will let you know. But it will be either 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, something like that. Probably 11 o'clock. Trying to get that middle ground between everybody. And we're going to try and utilize, if possible, trying to get it all technical together. It's not easy to do to get Facebook live going and youtube live going because not everybody has facebook and you know some people have youtube some people have a, a google account where which they can connect to youtube and then inter chat there some people that have facebook they'll be into chat there we're going to try and do our best to do that and to be able to serve as many people as possible now also because we cannot necessarily guarantee or social interaction and to mitigate that or social distancing uh, our life groups also are closed down We'll be closing down our life groups as well, because again, in close proximity, you know, we, we want to be careful about in case we are in any way spreading the virus. And there's, as I said, there's older people in our church and so forth and so on. There's younger people. There's some people who have health, you know, fairly health issues with regards to, the, you know, their, their lungs and so forth and so on, which are pretty, you know, that can be pretty dangerous if they get this virus in their system. But remember, in all of that, God is on the throne. And even if you do get the virus or somebody in our church gets it, remember that 80% of people come through it. And then, you know, there's a 20% of people who get very sick. And sadly, there's about 3% where it can become fatal. But 80% of people come through it because God has given you a good immune system. God has given you a system by which it will begin to fight it. And that's a gift from God. I want to tell you, this virus is not, and if you hear on the internet things like this is the punishment of God and so forth and so on. Yes, it is in some sense the part that we play in this world that is broken and so forth and so on. But God desires for you to be healthy. That's God's will for your life. Can I have an amen there? And so we are going to try and do our best to work with the government, work with things that are going by, work with the health HSE, work with the health service and so forth to be wise about these things. People have different levels of faith. People have different levels. I, I see people going in from one ditch to the other and I'll be speaking to that later with a later video. But I just want to get that notice out there first of all that we will be closing our main services. We will be closing our meetings such as life groups, such as our hope recovery meeting. We'll be closing that. I've also spoken to Jillian uh, yesterday evening and we got it out there by which a uh, hope a uh, hope for the homeless uh, services will be really curtailed again for this exact same reasons both the cafe and also even the street work due to staffing due to pay, making sure staff is um, you know kept safe and even the interaction there but particularly with the vulnerable of the homeless as well trying to do ourselves uh, trying to help them and trying to help everybody as well and so we will keep you posted on that if there's any changes with that but of course Jillian is on call as well and she will help out in whatever way she can uh, for anybody who needs help whether it's trying to deliver some food to somebody or something we'll try and work out try and do what we can uh, so again with myself um you know give me a call if you need me I, I will try and get to you if i have to get to you if that needs to be i'm 
absolutely not frightened of doing that. If not necessary, be, or we're, we're going to do that. We're not going to stop just as the nurses don't stop, as the guardie don't stop and so forth and so on. We're just trying to be wise and trying to be wise. So if you need me, give me a call. But we'll try and, of course, do again. We'll try and do it as much as we can, either via phone or text or email or via even video phone. We'll try and do our best to make sure we serve you in whatever way we can. Uh, we'll be continuing to work behind the scenes in different ways. So with all of that being said, I want to let you know again, we're here to serve you. Sunday services will be closed down until further notice. Now, try get online. Try and get online for the Sunday service. Try and interact. We'd love to see you interact. Now, also, please text us if you're unwell. If you're unwell, let us know. We want to know if we can pray for you because we are, you know, we can get the prayer out. We're part of CityGate Prayer. We're part of that team as well. You know, get, get us, let us know. And uh, particularly if you've gone to the doctor and if you're in their self-quarantine, let us know or self-isolation and such. Let us know. We want to know so we can care for you. Don't leave it too late. Don't say, don't, you know, text us, let us know. And uh, we just want to keep in communication with you and any other needs as well. Please let us know. Now, there is one or two people who are already sick in the church, I'm afraid. Um, there's there, there, Some have head colds and so forth and so on. So they're self-isolating. They're doing what is supposed to be done. And they're out of work self-isolating. So we bless all those who are unwell and all those who will be unwell. And we bless them. And in the name of Jesus, we bless them. And by God's grace, uh, people will come through this well. And we say that even for the family of God and for your family. And know that Jesus is the healer and Jesus is on the throne. Now, I just want to give other, another notice as well. Uh, some of you know Jenny and Chris Reynolds in the church in Cove. Just to say that Jenny's uh, mom has passed away. And uh, there will be a funeral, but it will be kept very private. It's kept private and it's just family only. And one of those things is, of course, the government is putting that out as well. But, you know, we just they just want it that way anyway as well. And so Dorothy or Dot has uh, gone to be with the Lord. She has expressed faith. She was years ago and she's been in, she's been poorly for a number of years. She's been in healthcare or such, or she's been in uh, home, uh, uh, you know, for a number of years and just been taken care of, taken care of well. And, and Jenny's really uh, happy with the service and care and she, uh, that they, that Do Dorothy got and just blessed by that. And so we just bless Jenny and Chris and also, you know, the grandchildren as well. And we also bless uh, Jenny's sister, uh, Sandy, we just bless them all. Lord God, may they be of a place of grace right now, and particularly Jenny as well as the loss of her mom, who she was very close to. We just bless Jenny right now during this time, and so we bless them. So with that in mind, keep in touch. There will be another video coming out about a Christian response to this whole area of coronavirus because I we need to speak into this because it's gone a bit crazy in different places, and I just want to let you know that there is a, a healthy way, a wise way, a faith-filled way, a loving way to look at this whole area of coronavirus as it hits Ireland and how we should go about our business as it continues to spread a little bit and just how we should have a right attitude, a right heart towards those things. So look out for that video. And again, if you have any questions, text me back and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to let you know. And so in the meantime, May God's grace be upon you. May the light of God shine on you and may you walk in all his wholeness and health and be at peace as you love and serve God and love and serve other people. God bless you.